FST if you want to move to the United States in 2023 as an international student. Stay tuned and watch this I have video. tips for you on how to pass your visa interview in 2023. Hello beautiful people, happy new year to everybody. My name is Oficia Dorinda, that is the name for all my social media platforms. I do videos on study abroad, uh, immigration issues, trending issues, lifestyle, fashion. So yes, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Click on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime i post a video if you want your student visa approved in 2023 watch this video because i'm going to teach you how to pass your visa interview with these three major questions i know there are so many questions that are asked during the f1 visa interview but with these three major questions once you are able to pass these questions there's a likelihood that you are going to be given the visa so stay tuned don't go away. These are the three main questions that are paramount when you're having your visa interview. And you need to know how to answer these questions. So pick a pen and paper. I'm going to teach you how to pass these three questions and be confident enough that you have answered the, them correctly. The three questions that are asked at the visa interview and are very, very important for F1 student visa. The first one is why the school and why the program? Here, the counselor wants to know why you have chosen this school or a particular school out of all the schools in the United States. Why that school and why that program? This question is very, very, very important as a student for you to know exactly why you want that school. So you need to have prepared for this question. The answer for this question is pretty simple. First of all, to know why that program, you need to visit the school's website and get the school's curriculum. For example, if you are planning on doing financial economics and your future career is to be a financial analyst then you have to prove to the counselor that the program and its courses can help you to be a financial analyst all the counselor wants to know is what the program is about and how the courses that are being offered in the program are going to be important for your future career. That is all the, the counselor is looking for. So first of all, I would love to, I would like to be, a, for example, you say, I would like to be a financial analyst in future. And this program offers courses like, you give all the courses that the program offers and why it is important for you to do those courses to be able to achieve your career objectives or to be able to uh, be a financial analyst. So the counselor only wants to know, the only way you can uh, be able to talk about the curriculum is for you to visit the school's website or email the school's admissions office and ask them to send you a PDF copy of the curriculum for you to be able to speak about the courses that are offered in the program and how these courses are going to benefit you or are going to be very important in your career prospects or in your future aspirations uh, or career that is all there is to this question so the second question that is usually asked and i want you to attach very much importance to it learn this question in fact because this question goes a long way to get your visa approved that is who is sponsoring your education who is sponsoring your education and this question you must prepare adequately for it don't go there and say that my father is sponsoring my education or my auntie is sponsoring my education when you say that automatically you have said nothing okay what you should rather say is that my father 
who is a bank manager will be sponsoring my education and also i have a scholarship from the school which is maybe for example it is 50 percent so i have been given 50 percent scholarship from the school and other expenses will be covered by my father who is a bank manager or who is a lawyer the moment you say that it proves to them that already you have some sort of funding and the rest of the funding will be catered by your father who is a bank manager add the profession of the person who will be sponsoring your education to it don't leave it out and just say my father will sponsor my education that will be a total flop so make sure you're answering that question correctly prepare well and know what your your sponsor does in terms of work do not say that my dad will take care of my tuition or my dad would uh, fund my tuition start by saying that the school has given you a partial scholarship and your dad who is a bank manager will be taking care of the other living expenses and the rest of your tuition once you say that the counselor now knows how you'll be able to fund your education and your living expenses and the profession of the person who is going to sponsor you don't leave it vague by saying that my dad is going to sponsor just add the profession and that is a very concrete answer also if your parents are not going to be able to fund your education and your employer is willing to support you you need to say that i work for xyz company and i have worked there for five years or how many years you've just states how many years you have been there and my employer who is the ceo of a social of the social and so company that you work is willing to sponsor my financial uh, expenses in the US or my tuition in the US. Immediately after saying that, hand over your financial statements to the counselor as evidence to back up what you just said. So you are proving to him or she that you do have documents that shows that your employer is willing to sponsor your tuition and sponsor your living expenses that will be concrete especially if your parents are not sponsoring you and you have an employer who is willing to sponsor you when you're able to put it this way the likelihood of getting your visa approved is very high the very last question that is also very important is what do you plan on doing after graduation this question the counselor only wants to know whether you intend to come back or if you have ties with your home country the answer to this question is i work for xyz company and after this program i have been offered a higher position and so i'll be coming back to take that position and to be able to bring the knowledge that i have acquired in the united states to the department to make the department better if you are a research assistant in ghana in a university you can say that currently i am a research assistant at the university of ghana and after this program i intend to come back and lecture or take a position in that department to be able to give back and be able to impact on the department once you say that the counselor knows that you are you have an intent to return to your home country the counselor only wants to know if you intend to come back to your home country to work your answer to this question is I work for XYZ company and after graduating from this program my supervisor has offered me a higher position so I'll be coming back to take up that role in the organization to be able to improve the department that I work 
if you are a research assistant in a university like University of Ghana, you can say that I work for the sociology department as a research assistant. And after my program in the United States, I intend to come back to take up a role or a permanent role as either a research analyst in the department to be able to work improve the department and be able to help the research department grow in the university of ghana so you have already stated that you have even been offered a higher position after the program and that shows that you have ties to your home country and that you're going to come back so yes guys these are the three major questions that needs to be answered correctly accurately and prepare well be confident to answer these questions if you are able to answer these questions correctly based on all that i have said and based on the research that you will do about your school and the program you are likely to be approved for your f1 visa i can assure you a hundred percent that you are likely to be approved for the f1 visa so you need to watch this video recommend this video to other people i do have in my videos other interview uh, videos and you should watch all of them watch a lot of youtube videos prepare well be confident you can prepare in front of a mirror in front of your friends in front of your family and i am 100 percent confident that when you are able to answer these questions correctly with all the tips that i've given you are likely to receive or or be approved for your f1 visa thank you guys for watching this video subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post a video and thank you for sticking with me to this point thank you guys have a good one watch all my videos bye